Welcome back. You're watching Night Vision. The judges of the Supreme Court will make public the statements of assets declared at the time of their appointment to the Supreme Court and any subsequent additions. The decision was taken on Wednesday at a full court meeting presided over by the Chief Justice of India, K.G. Balakrishnan. The meeting was a sequel to the CGI's announcement on Monday that consensus was being evolved on disclosure of assets. The issue of public disclosure of assets by judges came to the fore after Justice D.V. Shailendra Kumar of the Karnataka High Court and Justice K. Kannan of the Punjab and the Haryana High Court voluntarily disclosed their assets and made them public. The campaign for judicial accountability and reform has been highlighting the need for transparency and public disclosure of assets by judges. Meanwhile, here in Chennai, the advocates community has welcomed this decision. Tamil Nadu Advocates Association President S. Prabhakaran said this decision will boost the image of judges both at the High Court and at the Supreme Court. Unless the Supreme Court and the judges of Supreme Court and High Court are transparent, you can't expect that they ask others to be transparent. So they should have an in-house cleaning first and show that they lead the way. And uh, I feel this is a very positive step to show that they are accountable. And uh, democracy itself and the rule of law, where, where you see that the courts have so much powers, power will always also bring with it other negative connotations of corruption and other things. So when wherever you have power, there should be also accountability and such accountability can be made sure of and be also made known to people only when they are going to reveal their assets, their wealth. So I think it's something very, very welcome. Here after the controversy, whether yes or not, the Supreme Court, there will be a discussion in the parliament. All that is not necessary. The judges in the Supreme Court have uniformly taken a decision that uh, that will be their own assets. All the judges' assets will be made known to people. It's a, not a very, what the big assets going to be. It's only a very little, that's all. Just a small house, a little land, or some funds in there. Saying nothing much more. Nobody's there, like Ambani, or anybody there. So just to declare the assets in millions of crores. It's nothing there. After all, they will certainly they do that. I just, I, as a senior advocate for 47 years, that's the first time the question has arose. I just I find the decision of the Supreme Court is a very, very welcome decision. I congratulate Chief Justice and other judges for taking this decision. Well, it's our pleasure and honor, in fact, to welcome into our studio tonight Justice S. Mohan. He's a former Supreme Court judge. Sir, we welcome you to your studios. Thank you, Thank you for joining us. Well, to begin with, your first reactions, definitely a very good step towards accountability. No. Actually, I was wondering why this controversy should arise at all. See, every judge, be he a Supreme Court judge or a High Court judge, they are holding constitutional high offices and public offices. Therefore, when a request is made or a demand is made that you should declare your assets, I can't understand why should there be a controversy at all? As you should, because you know integrity is the hallmark of every judge, and today they are accountable. Originally it was thought they were accountable only to the Constitution, but now they are accountable to the public as well, because some un certain happenings which are not very palatable has made the position like that. Therefore, I strongly feel that every judge should have volunteered to disclose his assets. So do you believe, sir, then, that this is the starting process, really, of a clean-up, if that's the right word? Undoubtedly. Mm -hmm. Undoubtedly. It's a cleaning a process. Because, see, people expect you to be fair, honest, and of integrity. How do you prove that? See, supposing a man suspects, then you, it is your duty to clear the suspicion. You can't say, I said, you may suspect, I don't care. It's not a question of you don't care. It's not a private affair. You are holding a public office again and again, I want to tell you. You are holding a high constitutional public office. The moment you refuse or digress from this, people will start, I think there is something radically wrong. 
Well, absolutely. In fact, uh, I do share your thought as well that, uh, you know, uh, this, the whole controversy was absolutely unnecessary. But then why was there an initial resistance from the judges? What do you think? No, not the a resistance. That's another. The thing is, the Delhi High Court passed an order saying you should do it. And that was a mistake made by them. See, the question is, there is no obligation as such. But today, it has become more than an obligation because so many things are said, said about the judiciary. Right or wrong? I, I, I don't think most of them may be wrong. Nevertheless, as I told you, see, even when a man suspects you that you may not be fair, then is it not my duty to allay your fear? Sure. You should not, is it not my duty to restore your faith? And people must have absolute confidence today in judiciary. See, unfortunately, most of our institution are no longer functioning as they ought to, the legislature or the administration. Therefore, what is it that I do? Where do I go? I go only to a court, thinking that I will get fair justice. That fair, you, you explain, the, the common man expects that confidence I must have. If I go with reserve feelings as a public man, uh, as a private citizen, well, then what is the use of it? That is where the difficulty arises. And uh, originally it was thought by the Chief Justice of India, no, no, the, my colleague can, submits his return. It's a private uh, document. It's not a private document anymore because today the Right to Information Act gives you a good deal of rights. You may say, well, I'm not bound by it. It's not a question of bound by it. It is better voluntarily you come forward. What is wrong? I can't understand. You kindly tell, give me one reason why you should uh, not file. All right. For my part, I see no reason whatsoever. Right. So what about the family members and the assets of the family members of, of, uh, of a judge?